This one is how to get um, near enough HD settings from a dazzle using Sony Vegas Pro 9. First off, what you want to do is open Sony Vegas, which I've already done, because once again it does take a while to open. Right, first thing you want to click on is you want to go up to here and go on your project preferences. Okay, your video size, you want it to be custom, you want it to be 1280 by 720. Your field order, you want it to be a non-progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio, you want it one point quad 3. HDV 180 or 1080 that puts it into HD. Your frame rate you want it at 29970. Pixel format 8 bit. Full resolution rendering quality you want it as good. Motion blur type Gaussian I think that is. Um, the interlace method you want blend fields. Um, adjust source media to better match projects and render settings you want to check that box. And you want to check the start all well start all new projects with these settings. Audio, um, you want to put your sample rate up to 44100, um, your bit depth at 16, and your resample and stretch quality at best. Once again, start all new projects with these settings. Um, I don't really mess around with any of the other settings. I just leave them how they are. So once you've done that, just click apply. Okay. You can see now that my preview has gone to 1080 by 1280, sorry, by 720, which is HD on widescreen. Okay. Now you want to bring in a clip, so I'm just going to bring in a little clip, which is um, one that I've just taken now. So you drag that onto your timeline, and as you can see, I've got black lines either side. Um, you don't want them on your YouTube, obviously. So what you want to do is right-click on your um, your clip, go to properties and uncheck where it says maintain aspect ratio okay so just click on that and boom we've got widescreen and I know you can see black lines on the bottom and the top um, but they get they disappear when once you go through the rendering process anyway um, so now that's that's all set up in HD so there's the clip it's quality's dropped again now because it's on preview and half so put it to best and full the video will lag because it's not rendered um, but there it is in high quality so we'll just stop that what you want to do then is go on to video effects and I'll show you some of the effects I like to use on my videos um, go to one called levels click on that and I've got one preset already saved which is I um, named YouTube HD so you just drag that onto your clip and here is the settings you want your input start at 0 0.116 input end at 1 output start at 0 and output end at 1 and you want your gamma at 1 as well ok so once you've added that just close that one off because it's been added to the clip and you want to go down to saturation adjust and you've got YouTube HD again which I'll show you the settings for just scroll down your amount is 0 0.4640 your sensor is all the way down at 0 your spread is right up at 1 and your lows is at 0 and your highs is at 0 So that's that one added um, and another one I like to add is sharpen because it sharpens the clip up makes it look better and what you want to do is set your amount to 0 0469 ok so they're the three effects I like to use once you've done that um, all you want to do is double click on your clip to set your loop region go on file and then render as name your clip what you want to name it so I'm just going to name it as HG tutorial and then you want to set it as a Windows Media Video V11, which is a WMV file. Um, and I've got a preset already saved as YouTube HD. So I'll just go into custom to show you these settings. Okay, on the audio, you want to include your audio. Um, make sure you do save it as a template because it just makes it easy for you. Like you've just seen there, I just have to click on it. I don't have to go through these settings every time I render a video. Mode, you want quality VBR. Format, Windows Media 9.2. And attributes VBR quality 10, 44 hertz, and stereo VBR. And you go into your video tab. You want quality VBR mode, format Windows Media Video 9, image size. You want to go for 1280 by 720 high definition. Okay, so that sets that. Your pixel ratio, you want it at 1.333 HD 1080. 
and your frame rate you want to put that at 30,000 seconds per keyframe is at 5 and quality obviously is all the way up at best bitrate you don't really change anything there I can't change anything anyway index and summary don't bother with and last one project video rendering quality always set that at best because that'll give you the best render quality and that is my YouTube HD and all you have to do is click save and it will start to render your clip um, it'll ask, once you've saved it in your place and you've rendered it check it out and upload it to your YouTube channel and it'll be in near enough HD I mean I've put videos up and um, there'll be a link on the page in a little annotation to take you to a page where I've used a Dazzle DVC 100 and recorded that footage and it looks near enough HD um, but thanks for watching guys if you want any more tutorials don't hesitate to ask any questions write them in the comment box comment rate and subscribe thanks guys peace